Made it. That was uneventful. It was an easy little flight over from London. It was an interesting taxi ride up here as uh, my taxi driver only spoke a little bit of English, but she was teaching me something. Uh, I, thought, I think she was trying to teach me goodbye, how to say goodbye, but I didn't get that. She laughed at every, every one of my attempts. And uh, now I'm checked into my room. So uh, I'm gonna go get caught up on email from the Kickstarter and then I'm gonna head down for some lunch because I'm hangry. And I found some Mike. Hello. Hello. I, Como esta bien? I, I, think I, I think I get like uh, some sort of uh, I was trying to do, uh, what is it? Switzerland? Or, ya? Yeah? Ya? Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Holland. Oh, uh, Holland. Holland, yeah. Hollish? Hollish? Are you speak? <laughs> this is the first German meal and I have no idea what I just ordered. Here we go. Day one in Essen. We're gonna take this thing around, show it to some folks. I've never been here before, so let's see how that goes. I know, I know. <laughs> I said, hi, how's it going? <laughs> We're in Essen. We are at Essen. It's pretty awesome. Quarter master. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, sorry. 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 Speaking of yeah. shipping See? and logistics. Good job. Wow. Carry on. I would like to point out that we almost got run over by a UPS guy. Yeah, well, that would have been ironic. There's, there's, there's some irony there. there. Amazing. It's pretty oh, oh, it's Robin Hood. Oh, wow. you got, you got. Hey, Robin. Oh, God, he's going to shoot you with his bow and arrow. You just made you just made the James Hudson vlog. That's my life. Now I'm just gonna go and get. That's it. I'm gonna get a normal job. <laughs> Jen, would you agree that the food is far superior at Essence Bill to any other it's convention so far? It's our food. It's our food. I think that means yeah. it's good. Yeah, I'm gonna get one of those. That was a fun, long trip. Europe is just a different world. You know, it's different in the fact that it's been around a lot longer than the US. <laughs> you know, stuff that we consider old here is like a couple hundred years old, a thousand year old thing. It's like we would put this like this big plaque or like we would encase it because it's special. And there it's like, yeah, that's just, that's the street, whatever. It's, it's a convention. I have mixed feelings. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna hurt some feelings here. Um, there's a lot of things I did not like. There's a lot of things I did like. Uh, so, I liked being able to connect with everyone that is can ever make it over to a US show. Like being able to, to come in and see all of my friends, people that I talk to online that are across the pond, as we say. And so that was, that was amazing, I, I love that. Um, so people, always people for me. That's typically what's going to be. Oh, food. Uh, food was amazing because the convention wasn't run or like uh, uh, confined. Because the convention didn't have like these constraints on vendors, people come in with their booths and had amazing food. There was amazing food, amazing drinks, amazing coffee, like at every in every aisle like it was phenomenal you could get food and, and snacks everywhere i loved it it was it was good it was good it wasn't concession stand food like we have here it's, it's overpriced and crappy like i got this huge stick that huge stick of the uh, potato spiral potato thing it was like four euro it was and it was yeah it was a whole potato so let's get on to my concerns here's things that i have problems with there's almost no security at essen um, we walked in the day before during setup and just walked around like, no one stopped us. People's booths were laid out. Some people's stuff had already been set up. So you could just go and, like, you could take stuff if you wanted to. And, and, and robbery and burglary is a, is a problem at Essen. Uh, four or five people got their cash boxes hit. Like, it's crews that come in and have a distraction uh, set up and then steal all the money 
from booths. Uh, I'm not sure if we're ever going to uh, have a booth there because it doesn't seem like there. It's just been like it's been like this for years, and it doesn't seem like Essen as a as a convention is doing anything about it. And so, it's already would be really expensive and hard to pull off a trip in Europe um, for a booth and to get to get your inventory there and and, and set up all the, the people that you need to run the booth and, and the hotels and then to have all of your money stolen would just wreck a company. It would just wreck company. I don't know if it's worth the risk. Uh, what we may end up doing is just, I may just keep coming over um, and bring whatever game with me and, and set up interviews and things like that. But um, I, as it's current setup, I'm, I'm just not confident that we want to commit to having a booth uh, at, at that convention. There was so many people on even Friday that you couldn't move. There were certain parts of aisles that just came to a complete stop. People were like literally smashing and like wedging their shoulders in and trying to wiggle through uh, because it just come to a complete standstill. And Saturday, I heard it was even worse. It was so bad that I, on Saturday morning, I went over, I had my meeting, and then I got out of the, I got out. That's when we went down to Dusseldorf uh, was that afternoon because I just, I couldn't stand it. And I'm, a, I'm an extrovert. I don't have a problem being around people and I couldn't stand it so um, that was a big problem like you can't it's just too many people plus one for definitely going back because uh, I, I want to go back and, and just keep going back to Europe <laughs> that was a lot of fun and I really really enjoyed meeting uh, my friends that uh, an industry folk uh, over there that I don't ever get to actually see very often or at all different fans of Dread City Games and Skybound Games come by and say hi in general, I really enjoyed Essen. Um, it, was, it was an experience, and uh, I'm looking forward to doing it again in the future. But I'm just not sure how we're going to do it. We're going to we're going to have another powwow when I get back to the office and, and go through that a little bit more. I'm not real sure. Um, you know, one thing that I don't really ask a lot on these vlogs, but like if you enjoy these, uh, would you mind sharing them, clicking the like button, dropping a comment about what you liked? One of the things I got to have dinner with Rodney uh, Smith and watch it play. And one of the things that we talked about at our dinner was that creative people have to have creative outlets. They have to have a way to just kind of get the, this out. And, and one of the things I love about these vlogs is it gives me an opportunity, because our board games are these big, long projects. And these vlogs give me an opportunity to come in and just make something that I can put out. And I really enjoy, I really enjoy it. So it, it actually fuels us when we get a little bit of uh, reciprocation and it's just simple with subscribes, with likes, with comments, with sharing. Um, and again, you don't, don't feel forced. If you don't want to do that, don't do it. But uh, if you do, that'd be great. And it, it definitely helps us uh, want to do it more. So, all right, guys, I've got to get this edited. I've got to get back to the Tidal Blades Kickstarter because we've got about 10 days left. And we've got some big stuff coming in the next 10 days. So, I'm excited. See you at PAX Unplugged. Come get on the vlog. Yo! Wow.